I just rented a car in Japan and here's how it's going. <laughs> first things first, in a previous video, I got this phone mount from Autobox. Here we are, record. We are on our first road trip. This is my first time actually experiencing the Japanese road and actually driving in public roads and the freeway. I've never have yet gone to the highway, just in the inside streets to my place. Let's get the show on the road. I'm already late because there's some complications in getting the rental car. I booked the wrong rental car place, so <laughs> I'm on a hunt for the next one. There's the rental car place. It was about another 30 minute walk from where I was at. I am actually attempting to drive to Mount Fuji. These streets are super tight with people walking through them as well. I'm gonna try my best to follow these directions and drive safely, of course. Oh, there's a mosquito in here! What the? Driving in Japan is very unique in a way where you're so used to walking everywhere and it's, it's a lot of exercise and time that you're spending, but in a car, you're like in your you have creature comforts and you can get places faster. Turning left, this looks sketchy because I'm so used to turning. Oh no, I'm turning right. It feels like I'm turning left, but I'm turning right. Oh, oh it's a protected green. That means I go. Onto the highway. Uh-oh. This is me in traffic. And my maps, I'm, I'm wondering if my maps thinks I'm on that highway or not. I have an ETC card, so all the tolls I could kind of go straight through and not have to really worry. So it should go up. If I go smoothly. Aha, we are solid. Let's go. My first ever ETC. Um, let's focus on this rainy road now. There has been a slowdown. Reason being is that there is an accident and it's a, actually a pretty big truck. Our first tunnel! Okay, and one thing is I haven't seen a speed limit sign. Um, I am going the speed of traffic. That should be a-okay. We are here just a bit past Kyoto. I'm not only here by myself, I am accompanied with a car. This is my rental car for the next five days. It's called a Suzuki Solio. <laughs> it's a hybrid, so it saves me gas and it is quite comfy in there. Have a look at the interior of my car. It is actually pretty sick. The interior. Very sleek, and look at these floor mats. They're checkered from factory, I think. At a PA right now, this is a parking area. If you go on a highway, you will most likely run into one of these. It is not surprisingly peaceful to drive in Japan as well. Uh, plus, you get all of these scenic views. This is a lake right in front of us. Lake Biwa. Oh. Nice little art right here. I've just learned this. So the freeways here to get from long distance areas, that you have to pay for. And there's a toll once you get on the highway, but you don't want to get off, right? So that's when PAs come into place. You could stop, use a restroom, buy a drink or food, gas, whatever you want. It's actually very efficient, a little inconvenient that you do have to pay, but I notice like the roads are way more clean. Like I said, there's bathrooms over here. Oh, there's a long line. Wow. That must be popular. That was a random stop and there's a lot of people in that line. The food was delicious and unbelievably cheap. I think today, I usually eat two meals a day. In total, I've spent $10 USD, which is outstanding in my eyes. One thing to also keep in mind, 
Cars are going this way, it's a one way. So once you go through a PA, you can't go back in it um, unless you want to stop at another one. That I've learned at Daikoku, the very popular PA that the car meets are at. Like usual, nice sunset. Let's do this. I am uh, I'm fueled up, my car is fueled up. Let's see if we are on the right track. I think we go out this way. trucks wow the sunset behind me looks amazing I gotta focus on the road though this is the first proper point of view shot and I hope you guys enjoy this because it's gonna be oh I'm in a low gear setting the funny thing is too is that I have a right-hand drive car my Sylvia s13 and I'm used to driving in the right hand side, but being on the whole other side of the road is a whole other ordeal. If you are ever in the situation, just follow the people ahead of you. They usually will follow the rules and you'll be pretty solid. Oh, this is so confusing, guys. Um, Lights are mesmerizing. Almost at the destination. We are practically here. That was a long drive. First fill up in Japan went well. We are headed to Hakone Turnpike. That's a toge in Japan. It's just gonna be a stop before I go to the next hotel. My rental car is zooming me just fine. It is still a bit rainy, so I gotta be careful and aware of like how I drive, especially. I'm getting used to the road, so it's not too bad. Sometimes I'm a little confused on like these lines in the middle of the road. I see a whole bunch of people cross it, so I'm assuming that I can too. And I need to go that way anyways. Let's send it. <laughs> All right, we're heading back on the freeway. This was a nice little town. They had an auto box and this cool toy store that, oh, it's right there actually, yeah, that toy store. I find that these turns are a little sketchy something. I don't even, oh, that truck was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh wait, no, he was going that way. We go here. Boom. Smooth sailing. Also, the hotel I stayed at, I know they have smoking rooms and non-smoking rooms, but I don't, maybe it's a sheets or pillows, but it smelled like cigarettes and I had a hard time sleeping. Like, it was terrible. <laughs> There's a place for carrots. This way. These K trucks are so awesome. It's kind of interesting how they go on the freeway. Like, they don't even go that fast. Another toll. And then we're gonna be driving for a little while. To Hakone we go. This is really feeling like Hawaii right now for some reason. I think it's all the greenery. That's a big mountain, but we're going to an even bigger mountain. We are still a little far away from Mount Fuji. It is visible and there's clouds covering the whole mountain, but a peak of Mount Fuji is looking at me. That mountain is way taller than I thought. Not 
turned into this parking area because there was a motorcycle behind me and I feel like he wanted to rip it. I'm the only one here. It's very peaceful and quiet. The roads are beautiful out here. This thing has been a champ at getting me around. Overgrown. So unbelievably peaceful out here. This is the view I have too. Oh. It's like a jungle in the middle of nowhere. No cool cars today. We have arrived. This is the Sky Lounge on top of Hokone Turnpike. Motorcycle things. Ice cream. Oh my god. That is actually so cool. This place is totally for enthusiasts. Wow. These wheels are pretty dull. Look at that view of the lake. It's unreal. Even though there's no cars, this is still so beautiful. Let's hope this could hold my weight. I have discovered if you literally only move not too far, you could actually see Mount Fuji from here right there and you get the lake a little underneath that is awesome ashi lake it actually really reminds me of a uh, mini lake tahoe i know there's more cafes like this but i need to figure out where they are just got back to the car and i think i found some pretty cool ones got an r33 over here and a new 86 it is so awesome seeing Japanese cars in their habitat. We are about to go on a toge. I have cash just in case the ETC doesn't work. I don't know if it does on this road. There's no one in there. I guess I, I just go. I, I don't know. I have no idea. This road is smooth though. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is Hakone Turnpike. It is a famous initial D toge. I've never watched fully initial D. I've seen clips here and there, so I don't have anything to reference it to. I'm hoping we see some cool cars. That motorcycle is ripping it. Oh, Miata. <laughs> wow, look at that view. Oh, wow. That is crazy. The ocean, coastline with the mountains in front of us. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Oh, Porsche. Another Porsche. Another parking area. Keep in mind, right now when I'm filming this video, it is a Friday night. It's around when people are getting off work too. I see a couple cool cars. <laughs> Ooh, wait, hold up. That's crazy. 
I already see an R34. Oh my god. Guys. Look at that. I'm just gonna park right here. <laughs> Currently, there's not too big of a crowd, but there are cars, nonetheless. Oh my god. These are crazy. What a sight to see. I think I saw a cool car peeking from the distance. Let me see if I was right. Ah, oh, it's a convertible, never mind. But there is an R31, I believe this is. We got another one, fellas. Damn, that sounds crazy. It seems to be on my left and right. There's skylines everywhere. I'm sure it'll get way more busy. Quite a night here in Daikoku. Hope this video kind of gave a good summarization of what a road trip is like in Japan, and you can do it too. Anyways, that concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.